Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for coming to the Children's Bible Story Hour. Today we are going to start by reading Children's Bible Reader put out by the American Bible Society. It's a really good book, and I think that you parents, if you have the ability to buy it, should go buy it. And my name, boys and girls, is Brother Stephen. And today we are going to start in the first part of the book, which is called God Creates the World. And here we go. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. But the earth, however, was just a barren place. Darkness and water were everywhere. And then God said, let there be light. And light appeared. God was pleased, for he saw that the light was good. He named the light day and the darkness night. And then God said, let there be a dome, a firmament, above the land to divide the waters. So it happened, and God named this dome sky. Then God said, let the waters that are on the land gather into one place so that the dry land may appear. So it happened. He named the dry land earth and the waters he called sea. God was pleased for this was also good. Then God said, May the earth be filled with green plants. Let there be grass and flowers and trees to blossom and bear seeds and fruit. Then the earth produced green grass and colorful flowers and trees of every kind. And God was pleased, for this also was good. Then God said, Let there be lights in the sky that shed their light upon the earth and separate day from night and show the time for seasons and years. So he created the sun for the day and the moon and the stars for the night. God was pleased <clears throat> for this also was good. Then God said, Let the waters and the air be filled with living creatures. So God created the fish and all the things that live in the water, and also the birds, great and small. God was pleased, for this also was very good. Then God said, Let the earth be filled with living things. So he created all the animals that live on the earth, tame and wild, from the smallest to the greatest. And God was pleased. For this also was good. Uh, Alicia, sit down. <laughs> sit down, sweetie. Sorry, she's climbing up, getting ready to climb on Amelia's head. Isn't that exciting? And he said to all the animals that lived on the dry land, and to the birds, and to the fish, May you become plenteous and fill all the sea and all the earth. Then God said, And now I want to create a living being that is like me. I want to create a human being. And God created human beings according to his image. He created man and woman. Then he blessed them and said, May you have many children to multiply and to fill the earth. You will rule over birds, fish, and the other animals. The trees and all their fruit is yours. I entrust them to you and to your care. God saw all that he had created and he was pleased for it was all very good. And then God rested and he blessed that day when he had finished making everything and set it apart for all people to honor. 
so that they may rest on that day, the Sabbath, and glorify God for all his good works. This is how God created heaven and earth. God planted a garden, a beautiful place, and he placed there Adam and Eve, the humans that he had created. Who's Adam? Adam was the first man, and God and the garden had a beautiful trees of all kinds that bore delicious fruit. This is Eve. That's right. But he made one rule for the people. He ordered them not to eat the fruit of the tree which stood in the middle of the garden. And that is the creation of the world, boys and girls. It is so amazing. God created everything out of nothing because of the power of his words. Now, I just want you boys and girls to remember, this is a storybook. They, it is created to make the Bible understandable for little ones. Just sit here, just sit. But you must know that what's very important is that you read the Bible yourself as you grow up, because that is much more important than reading storybooks, but this will help you to understand. Well, thank you for coming. I hope to see you again later. Have a great day, and children, make sure you always obey your mom and your dad. Bye-bye.